In September 2007, the Missile Defense Agency successfully conducted flight test FTGO-3A, launching a ground-based interceptor from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. This test demonstrated the reliability of a critical element of the nation's defense against long-range ballistic missiles. The ground-based mid-course defense element, the centerpiece of the Missile Defense Agency's multi-layered missile defense architecture, is designed to intercept and destroy long-range ballistic missiles during the mid-course phase of flight. This mid-course segment test, called FTG-03A, confirmed system integration of multiple elements within the ballistic missile defense system and culminated with a kinetic hit-to-kill intercept of an incoming target. It also brings us one step closer to the goal of defending the United States with a layered ballistic missile defense architecture. Managed by the Missile Defense Agency, FTG-03A was designed to test an operationally configured ground-based interceptor against a threat representative target. The flight test was the culmination of many months of extensive joint preparations by government and industry team members across the country. Key to those preparations were multiple ground tests and interceptor assembly. The Payload Avionics Module, or PAM, consisting of the Exo-Atmospheric Kill Vehicle, or EKV, and the Booster Avionics Module, or BAM, were shipped to Vandenberg Air Force Base, where final assembly and test took place. With assembly complete, the interceptor was in place in its silo at the launch facility and readied for the flight test. The FTG-03A mission was initiated by a target launch from Kodiak, Alaska. The ballistic missile headed southeast about 2,000 miles downrange. System assets, such as the upgraded early warning radar at Beale Air Force Base in California, tracked the threat as it entered their field of view. During FTG-03A, the sea-based X-band radar was positioned in the Pacific Ocean and collected target suite data for post-mission review. Although the SBX radar was operating only in data collection mode for FTG-03A, this powerful new sea-based sensor will provide target updates to an in-flight interceptor in upcoming system flight tests. In addition, an Aegis ballistic missile defense ship was stationed at sea to track the target and collect data for post-mission analysis. Target track information from the Beale radar was relayed to the Command, Control, Battle Management and Communication System and Warfighters at the Missile Defense Integration and Operations Center in Colorado Springs. At the appropriate moment, warfighters exercising operationally realistic tactics, techniques and procedures ordered the interceptor to launch. The command launch equipment at Vandenberg executed the order. Mission. We have liftoff. And on CD-1, we will proceed to task okay, 13. Test 13, go ahead. After the first two stages of burn, the third booster stage adjusted the trajectory to take the kill vehicle to its separation point. The in-flight interceptor communication system data terminal at Vandenberg provided target update messages to the exo-atmospheric kill vehicle. The kill vehicle received the information, then positioned itself for the best possible trajectory to acquire the target suite. After re-entry vehicle discrimination, the kill vehicle engaged, 
lethally intercepted and destroyed its target with state-of-the-art hit-to-kill technology. This test, GMD's seventh intercept overall, was the second intercept with an operationally configured interceptor since September 2006. This mid-course defense segment test further proves the validity of a layered ballistic missile defense system. Both FTG-02 and now FTG-03A have demonstrated through operationally realistic tests the integration and operability of various system elements on land, at sea, and in space that can provide our nation with a reliable shield against ballistic missile attacks. <laughs>